Today I got back my ultimate rares from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another PSA graded return video. And in this video, I sent, I think like eight-ish cards. I can't really remember. This was an economy level sub, which is like the $50 level. And by the way, a lot of you guys who watched my last PSA video didn't realize that bulk is actually back. You can do bulk services. I think you have to have like a $50 membership, something like that, but you can send them for $30 each now. So that is still available as an option for you if you do want to submit to PSA, which is obviously much better than the 50 or whatever else you're going to do. We're hoping it doesn't take as long this time, not 16 months, two years all that stuff. This was economy. This took about two months. So it was $50. It wasn't that fast, but also not like extremely slow, but compared to the regular, much slower. I think that was under a month. So we're going to open this thing up. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two maximum gold Eldorado mini boxes. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite card from the PSA return today. And let's get into the pre-grade, you know, little flashback to previous ruction. Here we go. All right, guys, let's check out these cards. We have a spell binding circle. This is the one that we pulled out of those random packs in that specific video go check it out we also have the blue eyes tune dragon so top left looks pretty good top right the centering looks really nice on this bottom right and or bottom left and bottom right i always get my directions wrong all right okay is there a little bit of something there no i can't really see anything corners look pretty amazing maybe a little bit of whitening right there if you guys can see that back centering is pretty good surface looks pretty good wow this looks like a potential psa 10 that little bit of whitening i don't think that that would make it a nine i'm gonna predict PSA 10 on this one. And I don't own that card, so that'd be pretty cool. Next, we have the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon that we pulled. I remember the centering being a little bit off, so yeah, it's, oh, it's not that bad. The bottom is a lot thicker than the top. That's basically where it's messed up. Left's pretty good, right's pretty good. Oh, the bottom left, bottom right, very nice. Surface looks incredible on the front. Back surface looks really good as well. Corners looks, okay, that corner's maybe not perfect, but pretty decent. Okay, a little whitening on that way. Hey, let's check that again. Yeah, not the best bottom right corner there. So there's a little bit of something there and the centering is a little bit off. So for this one, I'm going to predict a PSA 9. I could see a world where it squeaks through and get like a 10, but I doubt it. I'm guessing a PSA 9 on this one. And next we have the Time Wizard. So we have a Time Wizard. I do not own this one in PSA 10 yet. So this would be pretty cool if we could get it. Top left looks pretty nice. Okay. Top right, pretty good. Centering is not completely perfect on this. Definitely a little wider on this side. The bottom might be a little thicker as well. Bottom corners are pretty good. Maybe a tiny bit of whitening on that bottom right. And maybe, uh, man, why is it always the bottom right back corner is not perfect? And then the back surface is pretty good, except in the middle, there's a little dot right there. So this card's pretty nice overall. I'm expecting a nine on this. I'm gonna go with PSA nine on the guess. I could see a world where it got a 10 as well. All right, fourth card. We have seven cards here today. So a pretty decent amount of cards. We have the change of heart. I think I'm gonna in these economy levels so they're going to be $50 per card because there is now the bulk level at $30 and then there's $100 which is what I've been doing we're going to try economy and see how fast that is the uh the regular level had been crazy fast so we're going to try uh economy and see if it's like you know close to as fast there's a little bit of like a dot right there I don't know what that is service looks incredible corner looks good corner looks good corner corner all really good back surface looks really really nice I forgot to check the centering uh corners look good back centering is definitely not very good and then thought maybe I saw something, maybe like a light scratch right there. But the centering is a little bit off on this card. So and then it has that white dot right there. So overall, I'm going to guess a nine. This card is super clean, though, for a nine. I mean, I could see it getting a 10, but I'm going to go with PSA nine on that one. Three more cards. Also, if the economy is still pretty fast, that'll be great because that'll save like literally half of our money because normally we're paying seven hundred dollars for these. We pay three fifty plus, you know, all the taxes and shipping and all that stuff. But here we have a elemental hero thunder giant. OK, wait, do we have a little bit of a scuff or something there? A little bit of a scuff right Right there centering looks pretty good on this card corners are nice all right wait we have a little whitening there okay a little whitening and then the right back surface is pretty decent okay you've got a top left top right bottom left bottom right those all look good okay so a little bit of a dot there we've got the imprint a little bit from the the ultimate rare then we have so basically it's that that and then a little bit of whitening so this is between like an eight and a nine for me it's a pretty clean card i don't think that that's like a dent or anything so i'm gonna go with i'm gonna guess eight but i think it could and probably should get a nine so we're gonna go with eight on this be a little pessimistic and see what it gets last two cards we have winged karibo this is a very nice card very cool i've graded two of these in the past psa 10 but i no longer own them so it'd be great to get another one of these so the top left a little bit of whitening top right pretty nice maybe a little bit of whitening on that edge right there bottom left looks good bottom right looks good back looks incredibly nice super nice surface bottom corner looks good top left top right bottom right i mean this card looks like a psa 
10 to me. I mean, the only things are this top edge. There's two specks of white. There's one right there and one right there. But honestly, I think that this should give a PSA 10. Check out the centering. But I think it might get the nine because the centering, okay, it's not completely perfect. A little bit of whiting. I'm going to go bold and guess a PSA 10 though. I feel like it has a chance. Hopefully it will get it. And the final card. This is the one that we got at the Collecticon. I didn't grade the other two. I think I'm going to hold on to them and keep them raw. But I think this is like the best condition of them. The top edge has some whitening, kind of like the wing Karibo, but the corners look pretty good. Okay, a little bit on that white corner. Bottom left's pretty good. Bottom right. Surface looks pretty good. Back looks very, very very nice. Corner looks nice. Corner looks nice. Yeah, this card I think is PSA 10 caliber. I mean, basically all we're looking at, maybe the centering's not completely perfect either. All we're looking at is that whitening up there. I'm going to go with PSA 9 though, because I think the whitening might catch their eye early and they might deduct for that, but I think it could get a 10, which is why we're sending it in. Let's get back to the grades and we'll see how long the economy sub took, which I'm actually interested right now, but you guys are going to know in the same video. All right, we are back and we are ready to open them up. So you've seen the pre-grade. You've seen what I thought they were going to get. There was one of the cards I think Rampart Blaster from Collecticon. So when was that? When was Collecticon again? Like May or something? I can't remember at this point. Uh, I'm kind of losing track because we went to Hartford in May. I think it was, no, it was right after, it was June, right? I can't remember. Let's just cut this thing open. So they didn't send us the new box this time. I wonder if it's because of the level we're on, even though the last one was bulk. So I don't even, I don't even know. Okay, this is the new box but you have to cut like all the tape to get into it. It's insane. Like that just doesn't open very easily. Okay, the old ones opened a lot easier. Weird, but let's just keep going. All right, here are our cards and we already see a little bit of stuff going on. Okay, it looks like, okay, hopefully that's not in the case. Not in the case, surely, right? It's in the case. No, you gotta be kidding me. I don't even know what card this is. Look at that, right in the middle. Oh, look at it. Oh, you can see me back there. Oh, look at that forehead. What in the world is that? Oh, that's so annoying, dude. Oh. Well, we're just gonna go through them. Hopefully not every single one has all that junk on it. Oh, and by the way, I wanna mention, I'm gonna try and mention this even more because people are still falling for it and getting scammed by the YouTube comments. So if you get a reply in the YouTube comments about the giveaway, it is not me. It's from it's Telegram, yada, yada. Here's the easy way to know. Click on the profile that's commenting. If it says like zero subscribers and doesn't have like my profile and all my videos, it's not me. That's how you know it's not me. I don't have any extra accounts that'll be doing that. I won't be responding with like my other accounts anyway. So just make sure if you click on a response from somebody that it comes to my profile, like my videos and everything like that. So keep that in mind. Do not fall for those guys. Like, please don't get scammed. I know a few of you have and it makes me feel really bad. And I really want YouTube to do something about this, but it doesn't seem like they're doing it. So just a little disclaimer, we're probably gonna be mentioning this in like every video from now on because I don't want anybody to get scammed. So let's keep going. Let's see what we can get. I don't know what this card is. Uh, we already have, okay, corners look. They're not 100% perfect. We of course have this junk in the case, which is unfortunate. Uh, bottom two corners are pretty good. What is this? Oh, here's the Rampart Blaster. Okay. Unfortunately, it's the Rampart Blaster with the stuff in the case. That kind of sucks. It's a little bit off-centered, as you guys can see. Um, surface looks... I mean, the surface was super clean, so I'm really just hoping for like a 9 on this. Wait, what is going on down there? A little bit of whitening on that corner right there. Okay. We're really hoping for a 9. I don't know what I predicted. Probably 9. Let's see. Okay, we got the Mint 9. That's pretty cool. This is the one we got Collecticon. So we found a Mint card, Mint Condition at PSA 9. Unfortunately, they did get stuff in the case, but... Oh, well, still a really cool ultimate rare card. I'm still excited about this grade. I think that's pretty reasonable and pretty fair. Maybe we only have seven cards, not eight. Okay, what's this next one? What is that? Okay, it was just in the case. Okay, we're good. We're good. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Okay, a little bit of whitening right there. Yeah, hopefully that's the only thing with stuff in the case. Good corner down there and pretty good there. Okay, looking pretty nice. What is in? That just might just be my fingerprints, I think. Uh, surface seems to be pretty good. Oh, the wing Karibo. This thing was super nice. Okay, a little bit of whitening up there. It looks like it, like just they cut it like that and it just kind of happened. What is happening? That is on the case. We got some scratching on the case. These cases are not in great condition, but uh, centering is pretty good, I would say. It's a little bit shifted downward, but overall pretty nice. I think I thought this had a chance at a 10. Let's hope it does. I really don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell in these cases, especially with all like the smudges and stuff. Let's see what it got. Come on, give us that PSA 10. Ooh, mint nine. Okay, just a mint nine, unfortunately. Still pretty good. I mean, I was hoping for a 10 on this one, so it's a little bit more disappointing, but still a mint nine on this wing Karibo is not bad. I've graded a couple of these in the past, but I did sell both of them, so I was hoping to get this back. Man, I just love this artwork. It looks really nice. The Euro copy of this is insane. It looks so good. Wait, now that I think about it, does this have Euro? I thought it did. 
Maybe I'm thinking of Wink Reaver level 10. I don't know if the Lost Millennium even has Euro. Not really sure. It might. I'm, I'm getting confused. All right, let's keep going. We got the top corner here. I don't remember what else is in here. That was all I remembered was those two cards. Uh, no, I think there's a Thunder Giant in here somewhere. Surf is looking clean. There's a little bit of a, a back stamping. You can see that right there. Okay. Oh, there's the Thunder Giant. So it looks like we went to the ultis for... I think they're mostly ultis. There might be a couple other cards that aren't ultis in here. Okay, back looks pretty good. There, oh my goodness, what is that? I must have missed that. Okay, we are, we're gonna be lucky for a nine here. Let's see what we can get. I, how's the centering? Okay, it's pretty good. Oh, that, that, that white spot, we're probably getting an eight. Yeah, an eight. Okay, that makes sense. I must have missed this completely. Did I see that? Maybe I was just like, whatever, we'll submit it anyway. Still a really, really nice card. I mean, it looks pretty awesome. I love the ulti foiling on it. It looks really, really good. Four more cards. What else did we send in this? I can't remember. Top corner is looking nice there. Okay, good start. Bottom corner. Man, the corners are pretty good, except that one is not perfect. But corners are still pretty good. Surface looks awesome on this card. Oh, it's change of heart. Change of heart. Was it off centered? Yes, it was off-centered. Okay, a little bit off-centered. Might be a little tilted because it feels like, it, yeah, it feels like it's tilted because it looks like it's bad here. It's like f bigger here and smaller there. And then here it looks a little bit bigger than, or maybe more even than that. It might be a tiny bit tilted. Surface looks really nice on this card. This would be insane. I don't have this in PSA 10. I have five out of 10 Metal Raiders Ultra Rare First Edition uh, PSA 10s. So I need this one, Horn of Heaven, Magic Jammer, uh, Time Wizard and no, not Magic Jammer. Horn of Heaven, uh, Seven Tools, and then I think Barrel Dragon. Then I have all of them. Okay, let's see what it got. This card's really nice. A little bit OC, so I'm guessing this is gonna get a nine. A ten would be pretty awesome. Yeah, mid nine. That makes sense. I mean, this card is like it is a mid nine. It's really like a ten with off center, you know. So that's what a nine is essentially at PSA. But we will take that. Really beautiful card. Still probably pretty valuable in a nine. Three cards to go. Let's see. So so far no tens. Wait, we should be doing this in stacks. So what do we have? One eight and three nines that's what we're looking at right now one eight three nines not too bad let's see what else we can get back surface is decent a uh, little bit of a nick right in the middle okay or I mean, not a nick it looks like just random thing corners appear to be pretty good yeah, those look nice okay this card seems to be pretty nice oh i have a time wizard in here centering is pretty good it's a little bit oc man this is a minty card oh man i really hope this gets a 10 but it's yeah the centering is definitely like borderline at best corners look good it seems like the centering is what's going to hold this back if anything let's hope for the 10 but i'm guessing that we might end up with the nine let's see it's the day of the nines yeah they're not really giving us any leniency on the centering but it is a little bit oc so we can't really complain too much it's still a mid nine those are the cards i can't get i've got all the nines i've got nines of everything i need the psa 10 okay two more to go let's see what we can get corners look nice can we get a 10 on anything that would be nice okay bottom corner okay they're okay top corners were really good Oh, a tune oh this is the one we pulled yeah this thing was oc this thing's not getting a 10 uh, a little bit oc uh it's like pushed up a little bit as you guys can tell uh centering like left to right is amazing it looks really good the surface was clean i think it was just the you know the pushed up centering right yeah this card's super clean i'm guessing a nine though but could get a 10 maybe uh did we miss something <laughs> i wonder if it was in the pre-grade Oh, is there a nick up there? Oh no, was it come out of the pack like that? You can't really tell. Yeah, I think that's a little ding. Oh, I wonder if that happened in the pack or not. Oh, it's unfortunate. I'd have to go back and review the original footage. I mean, you guys will see it. So you guys can let me know if that was already there. If it was, then an eight makes perfect sense. Off centered a little bit of a nick, but okay. All right, maybe today's not the day for uh, for tens. Let's see what the final card is. Back centering is pretty nice. We had pretty good luck on the bulk submission, so we can't really complain too much. A little bit of a cutting issue there. Uh, oh, what is that? Bottom corner has some whitening. It looks like we might not get any tents today. Let's see. Service looks good. What card is this? Oh, the spell binding that we pulled. Yeah, this card was nice as well. Well, I guess it has a little bit of a whitening there. Okay, what's the corner? Corner. That'd be cool if this could get a 10. Bottom. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's see what it got. Can we end it off with a 10? I'd be happy with it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Here we go. All right. I don't remember the last submission we didn't get a 10. So this might be like our worst submission in a while. But honestly, like a lot of the cards weren't 10s. They were 9s. So it makes sense. But it's not like a horrible return. We didn't get like 5s and 6s. It's just a very average return. But it's still fun to get stuff back from PSA. Uh, I actually sent some cards to CGC, some faded stuff. So I'm hoping that that will, you know, grade a lot better than it would a PSA because it seems like I get 6s, 7s, and 8s and all my faded stuff. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully that'll come back soon. I think CGC's return times are really fast. So we should get it back in the next couple weeks, I would say. So keep an eye 
sign out for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, Ananda Tai Show, Thomas McLean, Seth Fisher, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.